Krishna Freo will be saying this with us. Now, some words of wisdom from Mother Teresa. Kind words are short and easy, but their echoes are truly endless. Please stay as we sing to you.
May your people exult forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd in a loud voice. Men of Israel, listen to what I am going to say. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commanded to you by God, by the miracles and portents and signs that God worked through him when he was among you, as you all know. This man, who was put into your power, by the deliberate intention and foreknowledge of God, you took and had crucified by men outside the law. You killed him, but God raised him to life, freeing him from the pangs of Hades, for it was impossible for him to be held in its power, since, as David says of him, I saw the Lord before me always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart was glad, and my tongue cried out with joy. My body too will rest in the hope that you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor allow your holy one to experience corruption. You have made known the way of life to me. You will fill me with gladness through your presence. Brothers, no one can deny that the patriarch David himself is dead and buried. His tomb is still with us. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn him an oath to make one of his descendants succeed him on the throne, what he foresaw and spoke about was the resurrection of the Christ. He is the one who was not abandoned to Hades and whose body did not experience corruption. God raised this man Jesus to life and all of us are witnesses to that. Now raised to the heights by God's right hand, he has received from the Father the Holy Spirit, who was promised. And what you see and hear is the outpouring of that Spirit. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Who, though known to 
since before the world was made has been revealed only in our time, the end of the ages, for your sake. Through him you now have faith in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory for that very reason, so that you will have faith and hope in God. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Then they told their story 
of what had happened on the road and how they had recognised him at the breaking of bread. The Gospel of the Lord.
the, the great gospel story and the great story of our Christianity is death and, uh, and destruction of body and, and gloom. But in the midst of all of that, after that, comes resurrection and the availability of Jesus for all of us. Hallelujah.
pray my sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. <laughs> Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exalted Church, and as you have given her cause for such great gladness, grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory, as they acclaim. Michael, our bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Thomas, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Thank you. 